Hi my friend, my name is Mohalla and welcome to my tutorial. In previous tutorials, we talked about different types of a before x dialog. You know, the simple show message and custom layout. And we talked about templates of before x dialog. So we almost talked about all of them except two, list and date template. So let's talk about them. First, we need to be sure that XUI library is activated. Then I can define it here in a public variable. And then we can initialize it here. It needs one parent, which can be root when you use before X page. And now it's time to use it. Dialog dot show template. Here we need to define one template, which is one least in this example. So let's define that in L as before X template, this one list template list template it needs some items and actually options and the options as you can see here is a list so you need one list here how you can define it here deem um, list as list list.initialize and now you can easily add your items for example one let's duplicate it by control d second item two um three okay it's enough and now we can use that list. Okay, our list is ready. And we need maybe one yes button or let's say okay. And no button is not needed and cancel. Very good. What about if my user selected one item and then he after that he will click on OK. I want to log the result or maybe I want to show it inside toolbar. How? It's like this. First we need to wait for the answer of the user as I told you in previous discussion. Wait for what? Wait for the result of this dialog. And once the result is complete We can have the result in one integer variable. And then we can check if the result is equal to OK button. OK button, we can have it like this. XUI, we can use this variable and response positive dialog response positive it means that the user has clicked on this item then you can show the response of the user which is l dot selected item okay let's run the application Now you, the user is going to choose one item. It seems that I forgot to initialize this one. Sorry about that. And let's run it again. Okay, now I can see my list 
And if I click on one of them, I can have it here. Actually, in this example, I don't need OK button because clicking on, y on one item is like clicking on OK. That's why we can have this one. Okay, what about if my user wants to click on more than one item? First have one title for the uh, dialogue to have better view. And then I want to make it multi-selectable. How? It's like, uh, let's see. Yes, allow multi-selection. I can say true. If this one is true, then instead of item, you can say items as you have it here. Okay. Now I have one title and I can select more than one item. For example, two. Let's see the result here. As you see, it returns one list which has two item. And if I select, for example, three of them, then it will be three. Okay, very easy. What about if you want to customize this list? How to remove this border? I told you it's dialogue.border width. border width, you need to make it zero, then you can remove this border. And if you want to change the text color of this list and the background color, you can use uh, L dot custom list view, this variable and then custom list view, the text color and the background text color, it will be the text color and the background text color. I'm not going to write them, maybe one of them, because uh, I explained them in my previous tutorial. So you can check that one. For example, let's change text color. Okay. I deleted everything from previous example and now I want to have one calendar. So I can define one variable, maybe D as before X date template, which will show one calendar. And it's very simple, very straightforward. Let's use this D here. Okay, just this one. And the result can be shown here, maybe here. So we can say day, d dot date. Very easy, isn't it? Okay, let's run the application. Okay, now you see very nice um, calendar, but it's better to customize that. You know, maybe these, um, for example, buttons, they are very old fashioned, as I see, or maybe border and other things. But first, let's speak about the result. Okay, is that the result that we want? No, of course not. So we need to change that. Change what? This one. And have a nice and beautiful format out of this long digit. So to change that, we have something like this one, date, time, dot, date. And it needs one long variable, which is this one. Okay. So we can have it inside this and then we can log this one. Very good. Yes. Now you can have the date here in a nice format. Do you still want to change that to something else? Before that, you can do something like this. Date time dot 
date format. Let's see the guide. This one. Yes, here. So you can use MM instead of month, DD, day, and year. So let's say we want something like DD, and then instead of this one, we can have one dot, and then months, and then year in a short format. Let's see that. Okay, now do you want the year to be complete? So you can add two other Y. Okay, as you see, you can change it to any format that you like. Now we want to change the appearance of this dialogue. How? Okay, here I want to change that button. Which button? This one you know, which is for month and then for year, we will change them all. So we can say D dot BTN month left dot color. We can make it transparent. I like it to be transparent. This one. And then if I make it transparent, then maybe I will need another color for that, for this one, maybe white. So let's change the text color, btn dot uh, text color to white. Yes, this is what I want. And then this one, which is month right. So I will copy it and paste it again. So instead of left, we can have right. And here. Let's see. Okay. We will do the same for this one. So let's copy and paste them. So instead of this one, I will say year left and year right. Okay. And it's better to remove this border again. Dialog dot border width equal to zero. Yes. Now this is more elegant, isn't it? Even maybe we can change the border radius and other things whatever that you like, but I like this appearance more than default, uh, you know, appearance of the template. Okay, very good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed in my panel, please subscribe in my channel. And if you liked my video, hit on that like button. Thank you very much.